Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and I decided to build one of my favorite scenes from one of my favorite movies, Batman vs Superman, to commemorate the 5th anniversary of the movie. I cannot believe it's been 5 years since its release. Um, I've decided to build a mock to share my enjoyment of the movie and um, I've definitely went over the top with this mock. Uh, it's not entirely accurate, I've done a lot of different uh, experimenting that I haven't really done before. so. The first thing I built when I started this mock was the hole that Bat Batman uh, came out of, and in the movie it's a lot bigger. I decided to use a bunch of snot techniques to have the floor boards, which is, are represented by uh, dark tan tiles, and I have them on their sides, and I just used a bunch of snot techniques, I'm pretty sure. I would flip this over you guys can probably see what I did and it is very complicated but I'm still very proud of it definitely one of my favorite things a part of the, about this mock and of course we have Batman over here not the one from Batman vs Superman unfortunately I don't have that Batman figure um, but I do have a Batman figure which I have multiple but this is the most one that would be the most accurate to the scene of the ones I have In the back here we have these super detailed walls um, and I definitely spent a lot of time on these. I even included some old gray. Um, I don't know if this is technically yellowed old gray or if it's just old gray and that's how it looks. Um, but to me it looks generally yellowed and um, I still like the way it looks. Um, on here I'm not one for using old older pieces, especially older colors. Um, but I still think it, I think it really fits into this specific scene. Uh, we have a pipe back here, which I think I might have just said, I'm not too sure. And then we have the exit sign, and unfortunately I didn't have a 1x2 tile in uh, a translucent green, so I just represented it, uh, those using 1x1 uh, one one plates. I didn't have a 1x2 plate either, at least one that I couldn't find. <laughs> Once again, we have the thugs, I guess. I don't know, I didn't I didn't really care to make uh, pure, purest uh, thugs or anything, at least five of them. So I just decided to represent it with these figures, but I still think it does, uh, it serves its purpose and I'm very proud of it. I have a black border that's going around here. Of course, the walls kind of overlap here. And then um, one of my favorite things about this mock actually is this snot technique. And basically I, um, used it to recreate these the blood because um, at one point Batman does stab someone <laughs> Other point he throws a crate like a box at him so uh, in which I have three over here very simple three pieces You could probably figure out what pieces I use just by looking at it And then we have another guy that's who's in like a wall who's kind of in a wall i don't know i couldn't really fit someone in, a, in an actual wall lego just doesn't work like that sometimes so i had to improvise uh and i just really used a lot of the masonry bricks i tried to use utilize them as nicely as possible i didn't want to make it like repetitive so i kind of spaced them out all side using the stunt technique of course which i do think i should have used a little bit more throughout this mock but i'm still generally happy with what i was able to do um i did do like how i used this piece you probably can't tell what it is um but it's like the bracket piece and i turned that upside down because that and a stud is the height of it's basically the height of a brick, but I couldn't have a stud underneath it because then it would fit. Um, but I'm still pretty proud of it. Completely didn't add the doors at all. There's like these wooden doors that are supposed to be around this exit right here. And I just didn't include them because I didn't figure out how to do them. And I feel like it would make the rot mock feel a lot more cramped. I wanted to, to make it look like very along the sa same lines in like a, in a, like a reddish brown door would just not look very good or fit very well in the mock. So I had to skip out on that. Uh, we have one of these uh, thugs flying over here. I used the I, I just wanted to use the similar stand to what I did for Batman, so everything kind of looked more consistent. This guy's flopping around here, um, and I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, I'm just super happy with the floor detailing. Honestly, at the end of the day, there's not that much detailing, but I am happy with what I was able to get done over here. It's 
very proud of this mock and uh, once I saw the scene I knew I had to make it at some point in Lego and I finally pulled the plug and did it. Uh, anyways, I'm not going to hold you guys much any longer. Thank you all for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.